गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व दिस इज डी एंड एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट डे स्टूडेंट इन द पीरियडिक क्लासिफिकेशन एज यू नो देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लॉक्स इन द पीरियडिक टेबल एस ब्लॉक पी ब्लॉक डी ब्लॉक एंड एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स इन क्लास ट्वेल्व वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट एज वेल एज F block elements. What is the B, D meaning of the D block elements? First of all, I want to explain the D block element. D block elements. As you know, when you will write the electronic configuration of any atom, you will get either S at last, P at last, D at last, or F at last. That means we can classify the element on the basis of the electronic configuration. If the last electron, as you can say, differentiating electron enter in D subshell, that means you have the electronic configuration in last like D. So that elements will be called D block elements. Means. The, the correct the definition of the d block element the elements in which the differentiating electron enter in the d subshell that will be called d block elements dear student there are 10 groups in the d block from group 3 to group 12 they are called d block elements so <coughs> i am writing some examples of d block element and writing their configuration suppose we are taking manganese mn this is atomic number 25 if we write the electronic configuration of manganese so what we will write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d5 You are seeing two to four, six, ten to twelve, eighteen to twenty, twenty-five. So last electron, what we are, what you are seeing, last electron enter in D subshell. So this is the D block element. It belongs from the D block. Similarly, we can write any electronic configuration, and we can identify whether it is a D block element or not a D block element. So group. Twelve. That's mean group three to group twelve. They are called D block elements. Group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven, group eight, group nine, group ten. Group eleven and group twelve, they are combinedly called D block elements. There are ten element in each line. First line, second line, third line, fourth line. That's mean this is called three D elements. Means if we classify the elements of D block, we have Study like this: ten element of one series, ten element of second series, ten element of third series, and ten element of fourth series. So classification of the D block element is not based on like this: group three, group four, group five. It should be like this: three D, four D, five D, and six D. That means we can classify the D block element into four series. They are called transition series. and the names of the series are that's mean the classification of elements of d block classification of elements of d block it is classified into four series one is 3d series 3d series or you can say another name first transition series first transition series 
फोर डी सीरीज आर यू कैन से सेकेंड ट्रांजिशन सीरीज सेकेंड ट्रांजिशन सीरीज फाइव डी सीरीज और यू कैन से थर्ड ट्रांजिशन सीरीज थर्ड ट्रांजिशन सीरीज सिक्स डी सीरीज और फोर्थ ट्रांजिशन सीरीज फोर्थ ट्रांजिशन सीरीज दैट्स मीन दिस these all series contain 10 elements in the first transition series that is called 3d series we start from atomic number 21 this is scandium 21 to zinc 30 this is the series of the that's mean these 10 elements is called is scandium titanium vanadium chromium magnesium iron cobalt nickel copper zinc while in the second transition series we get from atomic number 39248 in the 5d series we start 57 and then 72 to 80 and in the sixth transition series we start from 89 then 104 to 112 so these all the series contain 10 elements in the first series 10 element second series 10 element in this series differentiating electron in 3d subshell y in this series sec last electron enter in 4d subshell in this series you will get the 5d series 5d and 6d so i am going to explain about the elements of the 3d series and the 10 element of the first transition series so dear student now first of all 3d series elements what is the meaning of the 3d series or what you how you will write the definition of the 3d series element or first transition series element 3d elements when the differentiating electron enter in 3d subshell it will be called 3d series element there are 10 elements it will start from scandium 21 to zinc 30 there are 10 elements i am writing the atomic number and name of the elements okay students so scandium 21 this is the first element scandium 21 then titanium 22 vanadium 23 chromium 24 manganese 25 iron 26 cobalt 27 nickel 28 and copper 29 zinc 30 these are the elements of 3d series and these are called the first transition series so now i'm moving towards the electronic configuration of 3d series okay students see here In class 11, you have learned how to write the electronic configuration. First element, that means electronic configuration of electronic configuration of 3D series. First element is scandium. Scandium 21. so we can write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 
Dear student, you are seeing that one electron is unpaired. That's why it is called transition element. What is the definition of the transition element? If B subshell contain one or more unpaired electron, they are categorized into the transition element. They are called transition element. If D orbitals do not have any unpaired electron, so they are not called. If they have completely filled the orbital or they have zero electron in the D orbital, so they will not be considered as D, D or transition element. If you will write the configuration of scandium plus 3, SC plus 3, how you will write the configuration? If you want to write the configuration of this element according to the noble gas configuration, so we can write e ar 3 d 1 4 s 2 this is scandium sc 21 and you are seeing there is one electron in d subshell that means it is a transition element as well as 3d series elements if it carry a one positive charge scandium plus one so what you will see one electron will be removed from here and AR 3D1 4S1. The student is still this is a that means scandium positive, single positive. It is also belong in the transition category. But in case of the SC plus 2, what you will see AR one electron will be removed from here. You will get 3D1 4S0. One unpaired electron in D here. This is colored complex as well as this is also a transition element but in case of the scandium plus 3 what you are seeing the we have to write ar 3d0 4s0 now the a student you see it has no unpaired electron in dr you can say no electron in d that means sc triple positive we can't consider as a transition element so what is the condition for the transition element? It should be at least one or more electron in D subshell, which, which must be unpaired. So I'm writing the electronic configuration of <coughs> all the elements present in the 3D series. This is the first two element, scandium. Its atomic number is 21. You have written this 1s22, s22, p6, 3s23, p6, 4s23, d1. And you can write this AR 3D1 for S2. Now writing the titanium. Titanium atomic number 22. So we can write AR 3D2 for S2. That means it contains two unpaired electrons and it is a transition element as well as it is a colored because you can identify any atom with or ion which will be colored or colorless by the unpaired electron present in the d orbital now writing the vanadium vanadium 23 so we have to write ar 3d 3 4s2 there are three unpaired electron in d and <coughs> Now, chromium, this is the most important, C-H-R-O-M-I-U-M, atomic number 24, it is the special case. We have to write the electronic configuration of chromium, 3D5, 4S1. We should not write 3D4, 4S2. So, how many unpaired electrons, if we will draw the orbital diagram of the chromium, so we will get AR and there, there will be five orbitals, one, two, three, four, five. This is 3D5 and 4S1. So student, what you are seeing, there are the six unpaired electrons total in chromium in, in spite of the four unpaired electrons. So dear student, larger the number of the unpaired electron in any atom, it declares the hardness of the metal. Chromium is the most hard element in all the 3D series and it's at the maximum melting point. Now moving towards the 
मैंगनीज एम ए एन जी एन ई एस ई एम एन इज द सिम्बल एटामिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इस कन्फिग्रेशन इज ए आर थ्री डी फाइव फोर एस टू इट कंटेन फाइव वन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज ऑल्सो अ ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट एज वेल एज थ्री डी एलिमेंट ओके स्टूडेंट्स so now moving towards the next element that is iron most famous element you know everyone that is called ferrum ferrum or iron its atomic number is 26 and electronic configuration is ar 3d6 4s2 after ferrum we have to write the co cobalt atomic number 27 and configuration is ar 3d7 4s2 nickel n i c k a l 28 and atom electronic configuration ar 3d8 4s2 copper it is a special case now we have to write the correct configuration we have not to write dear student 3d9 4s2. This is wrong. We have to write 3d10. 3d10. 4s1. Clear. Then zinc 30. Zinc 30. Its electronic configuration is Ar 3d10. 4s2. So this is the electronic configuration of 3d series. Students. in all the cases you are seeing that d contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 unpaired electron but in two cases are so many cases you will not have in case of this you are saying there is no unpaired electron zinc there 3d10 it has all the paired electron while copper 3d10 it do not have any unpaired electron see here if we draw the orbital diagram of the zinc what you will observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is 3d 10 and last to 4s 2 what you will observe if we will write the electronic configuration of zinc you will not get any unpaired electron either in s or in d but when we write zn plus 1 that's mean after losing one electron so electronic configuration will be 3d10 4s1 that's mean one electron will be removed this is the electronic configuration of zn positive still it is not categorized into the transition element because d subshell is completely filled and they have all paired electron writing the zn double positive so one more electron will be removed and this will be 4s0 3d10 dear student either you are writing zn or zn positive or zn double positive there are three configuration i have written you have not got any unpaired electron in d so zinc is not categorized in the transition series zinc is the element of the d block but not a transition element in case of the copper if you are writing the copper configuration see i am rubbing this one see the copper copper has the electronic configuration this if you want to write the copper positive plus 1 so you have to write the electronic configuration ar 3d 10 4s 0 that's mean cu and cu positive is not considered as a transition element and they are not colored also copper first it is copper first is not colored that means salt of the copper first will be colorless or you can say white but in case of copper double positive so you have to write the electronic configuration ar 3d9 4s0 so dear student if you write the 3d9 it will have one unpaired electron and copper second will be considered as a transition element copper copper first is not a transition element while copper second undergo the 
category of the transition element that's why copper is considered as a transition element so correct definition of the transition element what is the meaning of the transition element the element which may have one or more unpaired electron in ground state or any of the excited state in these two states you have not any unpaired electron in d while in this state you are having one unpaired electron in d so copper is considered as a transition element so what you have observed writing the electronic configuration of the 3d series in all the elements 3d and 4s is there so general electronic configuration of 3d series general electronic configuration of 3d series is 3d ar 3d 1 to 10 4s 1 to 2 please note down this one tomorrow we will explain about the elements and electronic configuration of 4d 5d and 6d series it is enough for today thank you good night